But can we talk more about what the experience of having nasal polyps is? So what is happening inside of the sinuses and how are the patients coming to you eventually? Like, how do they know that it's not just a cold that's been around for 12 weeks? Right. So one thing we didn't talk about is, and that's very, very important, is due to this blockage and all this inflammation, the part of the nose that has a function that's very important is smell. And because the blockage and the swelling, frequently patients will first lose their sense of smell. They don't think about it, but suddenly they can't taste their food and they're not able to smell noxious odors, which could be good or bad. Sometimes it can help you if there's a bad gas that you need to get away from, for example. So not only can they not breathe because they're all swollen and blocked up, but they can't smell. And then that affects taste because smell and taste are linked together. And then, as you mentioned earlier, there's all this drainage. So not only is you're blowing your nose all the time, but stuff's dripping back. So you feel it in your throat. And it's, it's just really a miserable quality of life because you can't breathe and you can't smell and you can't adequately taste. So that really, really impacts patients in multiple ways. 